This video will be a short tutorial on creating a basic airplane geometry in OpenVSP and then exporting the intersected surface geometry into Pointwise to create a CFD mesh. As a small bonus to the video, I will also show you how to create control surfaces in OpenVSP for use in CFD. For the purposes of this demonstration, I am creating an extremely simple airplane model in OpenVSP. For those of you who are unfamiliar, OpenVSP or Open Vehicle Sketchpad is a parametric design tool for quickly generating and modifying air vehicle geometries. If you are interested, please look for the link in the description to download a copy for free. Also linked below will be the OpenVSP hangar where you can find models created by the community for hundreds of aircraft at varying levels of fidelity. In my mind, the two major strengths of OpenVSP is its aerospace specific parameterization and its underlying analytical definition of surfaces. This leads OpenVSP models to be extremely easy to modify in terms that match the physical understandings of engineers, and it creates models which are near optimal for CFD. The reason these models are so good for CFD is that they are very watertight and the surfaces are well split for generating grids. Once the basic geometry has been created, we will use the trimmed surfaces function in OpenVSP to intersect the surfaces and create the IGES file that can be imported into Pointwise.
Next, import the iGIS file into Pointwise. Then set the defaults for connector, database, and volume mesh generation. As you can see, I will be creating a quad dominant surface mesh and will be using the T-Rex option to generate the volume mesh inflation layers. Typically, I would use this for the leading and trailing edges of the lifting surfaces, but didn't here to keep this example simple. Then select all of the databases and generate the surface mesh. Use the merge command to look for leaks. Merge connectors to make the geometry watertight. Create a far field domain. I usually go for 20 or 100x span. Don't forget to change the default connector spacing. Diagonalize the quads into tries. And then create a block by selecting all surfaces. Make sure the arrows point into the fluid volume. Now generate the volume mesh in the block using the T-Rex options for generating the inflation layers. And that is it. Initialize the volume mesher. You can see I generate the inflation layers until they reach isotropy. This creates a pretty nice cell volume transition ratio, as you can see. One important setting I use is to leave the full layers option to zero. That way pointwise generates multiple normals off of surfaces, allowing it to mesh the sharp trailing edge. Then you can simply select your solver, boundary conditions, and export the mesh. This next part will show you a simple procedure to create control surfaces in OpenVSP that you can use for CFD. The normal control surfaces in OpenVSP are designed for use in vortex lattice codes and just define some area of the wing. For CFD, we need the control surfaces to be separate bodies from the airplane that can be independently deflected. Here you can see a pretty complex example I created with ailerons, flaps, elevators, and rudder even with the control horns modeled. I will show a simpler case that can be extended to what is shown. Like the previous example, we create a basic wing, but create several sections. I create a thin sliver section before and after the section where I want my control surface.
Then using the modify tab, I trimmed the trailing edge from the appropriate sections. To create my control surface, I want an exact negative of the wing, so I copy the wing and remove any untrimmed sections. I then trim the leading edge instead of the trailing edge. Here you can see me adding rounding to the control surface leading edge and the cove. You need to make sure that the control surface doesn't intersect the wing throughout its full range of motion. And that is it. You can then import into pointwise using the same technique as before. Define hinge lines and you have a geometry with deflecting control surfaces. Thank you for watching. My closing remark is that I just reached the threshold to become a YouTube partner, so my videos will be monetized. If you notice too many ads, please let me know and I will change the monetization settings. I will make next to nothing, so your viewing pleasure is more important than any revenue. Thanks for the support. Please like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.